All right, folks, I finally finished my um, DJI Flame Wheel 450 clone, the Whirlwind uh, F450, I think it's called. Yeah, the Whirlwind FY450. Okay, let me do a quick comparison between this quad and this quad. Uh, this is the real DJI F450. Uh, this is a, a cheap knockoff basically. So basically what I put together here is I've, I've, um, I'm using the Hobby King 2210N 1000 KB motors. I'm using APC 9x47 props with collet adapters, oops, with collet adapters on it. I'm using the Hobby King KK 2.0 board, flash with version 1.5 software. An El Cheapo $5 receiver. I know this is a bad idea, but uh, I had a couple laying around, and it seems to work okay for short flights. Anyway, keep, I'm, I'm talking serious budget here. This is serious budget. And what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about some things that you probably need to spend a little bit more money on. But for now, um, yeah, I'm flying this on a 3-cell, and I'm using... Tronergy Plush 18 amp speed controllers. Um, I did the maiden flight today and it flew okay for a maiden flight. I'm going to attach that video here at the end. But real quick, I wanted to talk about the frame differences here that I've noticed. Uh, the size and all that good stuff is identical. The, uh, uh, the power distribution board in the bottom is very similar to the DJI, although I think the DJI is a little higher quality. The arms on this knockoff are really, really crappy compared to the DJI arms. And you can, if you look real close, you can see how thin this is right here compared to the DJI arm. And it's really got a lot more wiggle side to side here compared to the DJI. The DJI does have some wiggle as well. Um, it's not a real stiff frame in that regard, but uh, this one is much, much worse. I believe the cost difference between the two frames are, this one's about 20 bucks, and uh, this one's about 40. I'd recommend probably going with a DJI frame. Um, you can get arms for this, the DJ, DJI arms for I think four or five bucks a piece. Uh, but you're going to spend another 20 bucks. You might as well get the DJI frame, in my opinion. Uh, these motors, these Hobby King motors, I'm using the 800 kb version on my tricopter, um, and I'm using prop savers on them. And I'm doing that because I'm using the GWS props, and they have a tiny little hole in there, and they fit perfect on the prop savers. There's no wiggling or anything like that. I've had a terrible time mounting APC props on prop savers. They always get kind of wobbly and wiggly and I can't get them to, to work just right. So I have to use the collet adapters and I don't like these collet adapters. These are uh, uh, lesser quality more than likely and I usually always have balance problems with these things. It's like they're never perfectly on. I got my own set of Hyperion collet adapters. Uh, that'll add about another 20 bucks to the to the build here, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to stay with these motors. These motors with these props uh, have plenty of power. I don't know what the uh, flight time is yet, but uh, the cans were not well balanced. Three out of four were out of balance. That's the only one that was in balance, so I had to put some zip ties on there to balance the motors first. Once that was done, I balanced the props, uh, and I couldn't get the motors perfect, pretty close, but not perfect. Then I balance the props pretty much perfectly, and I still get a fair amount of vibration on this thing. I wouldn't use it as an aerial uh, video platform. Um, would I use it for FPV? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. I haven't looked at it through a through a like a regular low quality H, uh, FPV cam, but uh, it wasn't built for that. So 
no big deal. For right now, I'm going to put, uh, I've got these motors on and I'm going to fly it a little bit and we'll see. Uh, now, these motors also have a problem with that many of the Bell or maybe all of the Bell type motors have. And if you look right here, I've got a spare one. The wires going in are very, very um, delicate here. And as you get vibrations, you can eventually break these wires. So what you have to do is you have to mix up some epoxy and pack it in there to glue these wires to the windings. And I've got an example of that on this uh, DT700 motor. Same style motor, much bigger, but uh, I've got the wires glued down so vibration is not going to hurt that at all. And it doesn't matter, you're not, you know, the only thing that spins here, you should make sure you don't get the glue on the magnets. And make sure you don't get the glue where the, um, where the prop mount goes. But uh, you can cake the glue in there and it's not going to hurt anything. So anyway, I've done that to all these four motors. I have um, balanced them the best I could and it flies okay. I've got a lot of tweaking to do on this KK 2.0 board. I've got the gains up pretty high, maybe too high. I'm not sure yet. I'm still going to do some tweaking on this. But uh, so far it flies and it flies okay. Um, it doesn't have GPS and it doesn't have altitude hold. So I'm not sure I'm going to stay with this board. I've got it on here right now for flying and more than likely I'm going to wind up putting a um, multi-wee board on there with a barometer to give altitude hold or something else. But I recalculated this and I think it's about $135 it took me to build this quad and get it in a flyable state. Um, so it can be done for about 130 would I recommend doing it for 130? Uh, probably not. Um, there may be some upgrades that need to be done to these motors or collet adapters to get it a little more smooth, get the vibrations out. There's going to be probably an upgrade on this board to give me uh, a couple of more features. But uh, the KK2 is, is still a pretty good board. I've got about three of them around here, and um, I still like to use them. So anyway, that being said... Here's the maiden flight video of uh, this quad. I've got some work to do on it to get it a little more stable before I can give an honest estimate of how a comparison of the two. And um, so here we go. Watch the, enjoy the flight video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and uh, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.